Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and this is a look at a new Windows Mobile 6.5 build, that's 23022, from XDay developers that brings some mysterious new features uh, that may be paving the way for a build of Windows Mobile that goes between 6.5 and 7. We've heard about a possible 6.5.1 or a possible 6.7. It's tough to say, but there are new features in place that really allow for better finger control that would be conducive to use on a capacitive display, for example. So let's go through those now. Uh, to start, we have a larger notification area at the top that's actually scrollable to the right and to the left, which will help to manage multiple notifications if you didn't have a stylus. And I think that's the key here. So we can tap on the volume icon, and we get a very finger-friendly uh, way to change the volume. Very large. Obviously, these things that we're showing you aren't complete. They're kind of the infrastructure that is being put in place, presumably for a new version of Windows Mobile that has bigger buttons and that can do some different things. Also new, and you've probably seen this already, is all of the soft keys are down here, including the OK button. It used to be up here in the upper right, and now it's down here. So if we go into an application like Notes, it's really weird to see four buttons on the bottom here. And now if you tap on the keyboard, it obviously brings up the keyboard. It used to be centered. If you do a double tap on the keyboard button, you get the touch input settings. A lot of people that have Windows Mobile devices compare that it's really tough to get this keyboard selector. And the last feature that is different or new in this build is the magnifier. So if we go into, let's say, contacts, and we want to make a new contact, OK and we type something and then if we double tap watch what happens we get a magnification box kind of like an iPhone that allows to position the cursor presumably without a stylus it's more difficult to pos position the cursor especially on a capacitive display but now with this double tap feature you have that option obviously this is very crude it doesn't work too well but again we may be seeing the pieces put in place for a version of Windows Mobile that comes between 6.5 and 7. So we'll keep our ear to the ground, and when we hear more about this possible interim build of Windows Mobile, you'll be the first to know. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash pocketnowtweets. That's it for now.